Pierre Polyev has been called out for wasting time in the House of Commons while the Liberals want to talk about all their virtue signaling. Let's get into it. Oh, yeah! What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to our large fringe majority here on the channel. Just a big thank you before we get started on this video to everybody who has joined our channel recently. Uh, the, the subscribers have just been pouring in and it has been astounding to see all the new faces coming into this community. And I just wanted to thank everybody um, that's joined the channel as of, of recently. We're, we're averaging about a thousand subscribers a week here on the channel. I'd like to see that ramp up even more. So if you're new to this channel, uh, make sure again you're hitting that button on your way out and doing the usual YouTube stuff. But today I wanted to get into Pierre Polyev. Uh, we've <laughs> been talking for quite some time about the different policies that he's pushing. And people have been talking about carbon taxes. They've been talking about income taxes and other policies and, and internet censorship. And now we're talking about uh, some old news, which Pierre Polyev has been called out for in the House of Commons as of late. And that was uh, poke mandates. Now, as COVID has come to an end, um, somewhat, it's still out there in, in some places, uh, but it has come to an end uh, in terms of restrictions, in terms of uh, people having to put face diapers on and go out and, you know, hide in shame from everybody else in the public. Uh, the work hasn't stopped inside of the government as Pierre Polyev is trying to table a bill um, that would uh, prevent the government from having future... Uh, powers, I guess, to uh, implement further mandates when it comes to medical decisions. Now, I'm going to say right now the same thing I'd been saying back when this was going on, and, and I stay true to um, this statement that I am not a doctor, and I am not a health physician, and, and I think that whatever you choose to do with your body is your choice, not the government's. I believe that you have the right to decide what is best for you, and that government no matter how much they try, cannot prevent you from getting sick. Um, these mandates were nothing more that we've seen anyways than, a, a, I guess, a blank check for open spending during lockdowns, uh, a way to spread fear to get reelected, um, to lock people in jail, to stop people from socializing, and a way to kind of begin destroying our country. Now, today is Pierre Polyev, or I guess yesterday at the time of filming of this video. Uh, Pierre Polyev going into the House of Commons to table a bill. We see representatives like uh, Seamus O'Regan Jr. coming in. It's just disgusting, this tweet. Pierre Polyev tabled a bill to ban poke mandates. Today we have to waste time debating it. That's what Polyev wants to talk about right now. Not affordability, not inflation, not housing, not the war in Europe or the Middle East. Vaccine mandates. Now, Pierre Polyev has been talking about affordability. He has been talking about inflation at great length. He's been talking for weeks, if not months, about housing. Um, now, here, the war in Europe or, or the Middle East. You see, this is just a virtue signal. This is, oh, everyone, we're so concerned about everybody else, but we're not concerned about Canada. Um, I guess I guess Pierre Polyev should take a note from Justin Trudeau and talk about things that Justin Trudeau, I, I, this is what the Liberals talk about, right? If you don't want to get vaccinated, that's your choice. But don't think you can get on a plane or a train besides vaccinated people and put them at risk. We need to be strong in the decisions we're taking going forward, and we need to put people first. Which, Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. So the Liberals want to talk about things like that. The Liberals want to shame you for the decisions that you make because, well, it doesn't give them control. And if there's one thing that the Liberal government hates, it's a single word, and that word is choice. They don't like you having a choice. The government seems to enjoy having you on your knees saying that um, <laughs> you have no ability to push back, no ability to decide what's best for you. Um, now, of course, readers have added some context to this tweet saying that uh, Bill C-278 is a private member's bill tabled by Dean Allison, not Pierre Polyev. Uh, it also says that the bill would prevent federal employers from making 
uh, poke status a condition of employment and prohibit the government from prohibiting travel based on vaccine status. Which again, as we look into the scandals going on with ArriveCan, as we look at the spending that went on during the pandemic, when we look at all the, the issues with CERB going out and the, the max of rec- record inflation that this uh, country is undergoing as a result of printing money out of thin air to simply buy off people from complaining. Th- this is something I think we need, isn't it? I mean, am I the only one who thinks that this is a bad idea for Canada to get a to get a bill that would prevent the government from having power over its people? I, I've often said that this is something that I've always noticed when it comes to government, whether it's municipal, federal, or provincial, is that anytime they make one of these um, emergency legislations, anytime that they bring in these uh, temporary measures, they're always made uh, so that once they receive that little bit of power, they never seem to give it back. They, 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 it's kind of like the old give an inch, take a mile routine. Uh, if you If you think back to income tax and when income tax first started, Income tax was meant to uh, replace debts from war uh, costs and war bonds from uh, the First World War. And when that was implemented, people were told, this is a temporary measure. Well, here we are over 100 years later, folks, and we're still paying record levels of income tax. We've talked about that on numerous videos before. And of course, the federal government being upset here, uh, like like Seamus O'Regan, saying, hey, we don't, need to, uh, we don't need to talk about these things. We don't need to table these kind of bills because we should have the right to lock down our citizens anytime we want and limit them. Well, let's take a look at what the comments had to say, should we? Uh, again, friend of the channel and personal friend of mine, Theo Fleury, coming in. Uh, wouldn't want to talk crimes against humanity. Of course, your government uh, would abandon those who have been injured and died from uh, such procedures. Your time is... Your time is coming where you will pay the price for these crimes. My husband was fired from his job because he didn't want to get the poke and wasn't able to receive UI because of his refusal. As a voter, do not see this as a waste of time. Uh, poke mandates should never have happened in the first place. So what you uh, so what you are saying is that you still support mandates even though the justifications used to implement them were all lies. Sorry, the science never changed, according to this person. Uh, The government likely committed fraud against the population. Trials remain pending. Now, when I say that's the opinion, YouTube, I hope hope you're understanding that I'm reading a comment here. Uh, Again, folks, I'm sorry for the tiptoeing around. There's a lot of rules when it comes to uh, discussing these topics online. Uh, My friend Joe Walsh and countless others got a $6,255 ticket standing up for medical privacy and against ArriveCan because he knew it was a sham. I risked it twice. Now it's under investigation by the RCMP. Medical autonomy matters. The fault lies at the hands of your government. (laughs) Again, uh, another culture jamming uh, account here, Petrified COVID Parent. Go check them out if you haven't yet. Fighting discrimination is a waste of your time. (laughs) um the fringe uh good old sevro friend of the channel my my illustrator's father chiming in he's dead right talking about government infringement into my human rights should damn well be the item number one that's why pierre is going to end your political career tom marazzo chiming in thank you uh shameful for reminding us that bodily autonomy and informed consent are meaningless to you and your party we really need to talk about reforms to the way your criminals are allowed to keep operating sincerely six million canadians Alex Cabana, the the Freedom uh, Patriot Propaganda Network, uh, coming in saying a bag of mostly mRNA water is flexing a huge uh, menstrual cycle protest. Uh, Ben Bank is coming in. You suck at politics. Of course, Eva Chipiak chiming in with her two cents. The comments just go on and on, folks. But at the end of the day, this is an ongoing problem. And And it's not about mandates anymore so much as the government not wanting to give up power and this is a huge huge issue in this country and one that needs to be stopped and while while people are skeptical of Pierre Polyev and and whether his uh, campaign promises are going to come to fruition and I know that context was added to that tweet to say this isn't his bill I think if the conservatives are pushing to at least recommend taking away some of the powers of government uh, I can get on board with that. I enjoy seeing government recognize that sometimes too much power is a bad thing. And uh, hopefully this bill comes to fruition. But let me know what you guys 
think down below in the comments. I'm sure there's lots of you that have experienced this kind of discrimination or hardship as a result of those mandates. Let me know down below if you think this is a good thing for Canada. If this is something that is a waste of time in the House of Commons, let me know your comments down below. If it's your first time here, again, folks, we're rapidly growing our channel subscribers. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that bell for notifications while you're doing so, so that you can join us every Sunday night here on the channel at 6.30 p.m. Pacific time, where we do the weekly wrap and go over everything that's happened in the week prior, as as well as the week coming up and I have my Q&A and hang out with my community and it's good to see some new uh, some new faces in there and get to know people outside of making these videos. I always enjoy chatting with you guys and I hope to see you there. Um, I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day and that you enjoyed this video. I'll catch you on the next one.